there is at the top. It goes back in, so keep falling out. Again today and Paul had to have an eye test because he can't see <laughs> um, so we were in town much longer than we had anticipated um, but when I got back I found eight eggs in my chook pen which is huge for us um, I don't usually get anywhere near that from all of them let alone um, the laying pen so I'm really happy with that while we're in town I got some laying pellets just to kind of distract them from eating the eggs and then we'll start making our own feed again. Um, <laughs> got the lambies here hungry. Um, and I also spent a little bit of time in the garden, um, in and out. Um, I planted some more carrots because we're just about out and I use carrots at least once a day. Um, but today so far for breakfast, the kids had yogurt. Um, and we have leftovers. <laughs> For lunch we ate eggs, carrots fresh from the garden. I had to clear a little spot to plant out. So I, plant, I pulled out a few carrots. Um, and we also had beetroot with it too. It was really delicious. And then we also had, whoop, we also had leftover cake from last night after lunch, which was a real treat. Don't know what I'm making for dinner yet. I'll come to that. I'll cross that bridge later. But I'm in here. I'm going to check if there's any more eggs. Fingers crossed. And then we're going to feed them out with the new layer pellets. And what else? Then I'm going to go back and garden. I'm in that really awkward point in the garden where we're between seasons. There's not much happening because um, the beds are bare because it's um, spring and we're planting out all our summer crops. So I need to plant more carrots, which I did today because they're a staple in this house. Um, but I pulled out some parsley. I had gone to seed and usually I'd let it flower for the bees and I'd collect the seed because um, I like spreading it everywhere. It's a great, um, it's a great plant. We use a lot of it, and you know it's great for the food forest and places like that. But I decided to pull it out because that's really lovely soil there. Um, and I'm going to plant some more beetroot because I haven't planted enough. Obviously, um, <laughs> I've got about oh, three to four hundred plants in the ground down the bottom. Um, but we preserve it and we use it um, all through summer in salads um, and in winter as well. It's really delicious. Um, so I'm going to plant some more of that. I'm using a new variety, even though I've got seed that I need to use. I will plant more of those later. 
Um, I've got a True Blood, which is a deeper red, um, and so are the leaves. It's really quite beautiful. So I bought some of these and I wanted to plant them and see the difference. Um, and then I'll use up my old seed down the bottom a bit later on in the season. Um, and then I'm going to plant some more radishes because we use them quite a lot too in salads. These ones are Easter Egg. They're really, really pretty. Um, and then I'm going to plant some more carrots for this time, some more of those um, golf ball sized carrots, the Paris carrots. Um, I planted some of these down the bottom and I've harvested a lot of them. And they were really nice um, and quite fast growing too. So I'll plant some more here and hopefully there'll be a nice quick crop for us. The sun's about to go down and we've got to go do dinner. Paul's pulled out some steak. So we're going to make stir fry. So I'm going to pick some stir fry veg. I've got some carrots already inside. I'm going to pick um, a spring garlic, which is just basically a garlic that hasn't bulbed yet. And then I'm going to slice the whole thing like you would a leek. Um, but you use all the greens. You don't just discard the greens like a leek. You use the whole greens. Um, and I'm going to get some Chinese broccoli, see if I've got some regular broccoli, I'll see if I've got some bok choy, but I don't think I do. Um, I'm not sure what else I would have to put in there. My snow peas aren't quite ready yet. Let's go for a hunt. Dinner is done. Stir fried meat with veggies. 